All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Again, if you're just joining us this morning, my name is Joseph James. It's 8.32 Eastern Time here on a Tuesday morning. Of course, today is Fed Day, March. What is today? March 16th? Yep, March 16th. Happy Fed Day to everybody out there. We are just waiting right now for the 8.35 alarm clock to go off. We had 8.30 news, housing starts. We had uh, import price index at 8.30 this morning. We have Fed Day here this morning. Uh, Fed Day, of course, being the FOMC announcement, the Federal Open Market Committee announcement. And guys, we are going right through our morning routine right now, going through our morning routine. And as you guys know, our morning routine uses multiple time frames, slow, medium, fast, and fastest time frames. I'm going to use my auto levels to locate the most important levels of support and resistance on my slower time frame first. So I use my auto levels on my slower time frame. It's going to locate all the levels for me and project those levels automatically, right, automatically onto my fast time frame. I'll then use my fast time frame to enter my trades. All right, let's start first with the gold chart here. Now we have a specific checklist we follow. I'm first going to load my template, then add my trend lines, look for some big round numbers, double tops, double bottoms. Then I'm going to press the F5 button save all those levels, and then that will automatically project them onto my fast time frame. So here's a chart from yesterday, right, all, all jumbled up there. I'm going to simply load a template, load my trade room slow template. Now these templates are available to all of our lifetime members. As you can see, what it does is it goes out and locates all of my auto levels. See that? All the red lines here? All the red lines are my auto levels. Now, do me a favor, hold down the control button and tap the up arrow, right, and that will, of course, zoom me all the way out. Then let's click on the vertical axis, squish it together by dragging down. And now again, let's follow my checklist here. I'm going to look for my trend lines, big round numbers, and then double tops, double bottoms. Now trend lines are an important part of this, guys, because trend lines, right, first step to trend lines, I'm going to locate my extreme high, right? There's my extreme high. Now, of course, with these, with trend lines, Trend lines, in my opinion, are a little bit too inconsistent for us to use for trading entries. And guys, there's my alarm clock going off for 835, guys. It's now 835. Now remember, according to our according to our schedule this morning, we're now through 820 golden currencies. We're now through 830 import price index. Next up is our 9 o'clock crude oil opening up. My next alarm is going to be set for 915 Eastern Time. All right, 9.15 Eastern Time, my alarm is set. And again, guys, I use a very simple alarm clock, nothing too fancy. I don't, use a, I don't use a computer alarm clock just because it tends to be a little bit too much going on on my computer, so I use just a simple alarm clock there. Okay, so back to my, back to my slower time frame. My trend lines are areas of concern, all right? In other words, I don't trade around trend lines. I use these trend lines to know what areas of my charts to avoid. And you'll notice what I've done here now is I've gone through and I've used just the main swing highs here, right, as my points for my trend lines. Now let me zoom in real quick because you can see there's a couple, a couple swing highs here that are suspects, right? These are, I'm a little bit suspect of these two swing highs, so I want to make sure I identify those as well. I'm going to use this most recent swing high up top here, hit the F4 button, get it started, then of course trend line one going to the previous swing high, trend line two going to another swing high that I marked up. All right, and then also we can see here, guys, notice very close to price here, there's a couple swing highs there as well. All right, I'm going to start back up top here again, hit the F4 button, and then place that trend line right there at the highs there. All right, there's one more here, there's one more, and then I'm going to zoom in and show you guys what I saw. All right, let me zoom in for you here. Okay, so you've got, you've got, one, two, right, three of these uh, of these swing high levels here. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that I identified all three of those. All right, guys, looking good. Now that takes care of the trend lines from the from the upside, right, coming coming down from the upside here. Now let's work our way back. Let's see where the extreme low is, and let's get started from the downside. Now remember, it's 8.37 right now, Eastern Time, so we're after the 8.35 alarm, so I'm going to try to work as quickly as possible so I can get back to my charts here.
but as you guys know, I've got to make sure that my tech, my technical prep is done first. All right, that's the most important part. Hit the end button. That brings me all the way to the end of the chart. And as you can see, I'm going to finish it off by marking up the low right there. Now zoom in just a little bit. All right, hold the control down button, uh, is, and then uh, tap the down arrow. Hit the F4 button again here. I'm going to go low to low, right, just like that. Also, one more low to low, just like this. All right, now you can see how we have trends moving to the upside now. Right, we've marked up that upward moving trend. Okay, so we've got our trend lines here from the downside. Good morning, Antonio. Good morning. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Joseph. Welcome, Antonio. All right, so I've got my trend lines drawn now. Right, trend lines drawn now. Now, what else did I have to do? Big round numbers and double tops and double bottoms. Okay, big round numbers. Where do we see big round numbers here? Yep, big round numbers. Hit the F6 button. There's 1100. Right, now this is a gold chart, so the only big round number we have is 1100, right? Double zeros, big round numbers there. Then, of course, once we're done big round numbers, what about double tops and double bottoms? Do we see any double tops, any double bottoms? Boy, we don't see very much right now, do we? Normally, this early in the morning, we're going to see, we're going to see some. Nothing here, though, as you can see. Now, we do have what appears to be the making of a double top here, but nothing yet, though. Nothing yet. You can see this 1116 level here. Uh, definitely looks, well, now now 1119 half. Now, there would be a double, double top from yesterday. All right, you can see this double top from yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry, two days ago, last Friday. And then, of course, way up top here, there's one more double top up here at 1128.1 all the way from last week. That also will be something to be keeping an eye out. But for the most part, though, for the most recent price action, I don't see any double tops, little bottoms here uh, that really, well, you know what? I spoke too soon. See that? You just keep talking and you can find stuff, right? 1110.4. <laughs> uh, 1110.4. Look at how far back the activity goes on this. You've got, you've got, of course, not much of a double bottom here, but a double top back from last Friday, and you can see some triple tops, quadruple tops go back into last week. So we'll keep a close eye on this on this price level here at 1110.4. All right, guys. So now that I've located my auto levels, right? The auto levels have located all the red lines here. I've located my trend lines, my big round numbers, my double tops, double bottoms. I'm now going to press the F5 button. And the F5 button is now going to uh, – the F5 feature, of course, right, what, it, what it does is it actually saves all these levels into an external file. Right? Here's the external file. Okay, so it actually saves all the levels. Watch. I'll delete the levels. See this? I'm gonna, I'll delete all these line files here. See, all, see they're gone now. Watch. Okay, they're gone. Now what I do is, is go to the slow time frame in gold again, hit the F5 button. Okay, now watch. Gold will show back up. There it is. Okay, so what it does is it actually saves an external file. And then we use that file, right, when I minimize it back down, we use that file now on the fast time frame. Right, the fast time frame now, we load my fast template. Guys, everything uses templates. Right, here's my trade room fast template. And so we've got our fast template now, of course, you see, has all the levels automatically marked up for me. Right, very, very easy. Okay, so now I can minimize this back down. So my auto levels locate the levels first, right, on the, on the slow time frame, and then projects those levels so conveniently for me here on the fast time frame. All right, guys, this is, this is the first aspect of our technical preparation for the day ahead. And I can now repeat this process across as many markets as I want to watch today. And again, guys, I want to thank you all for coming out and joining us this morning here on Tuesday. Of course, 8.45 now Eastern Time on FOMC Day. My name is Joseph James. This is the live trade room of the school trade.com. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. All right, guys? Questions are always appreciated. And welcome aboard.